Hey guys, welcome back to a video where I'm going to show you how you can recover any deleted servers from your Cloudways account. So if you booted up a Laravel application or a Wave application, and then a couple days later you were like, oh crap, I didn't mean to delete that server, you can easily recover your servers. So that's what we're going to go over in this video. And then I'm also going to show you how you can create a staging server from the servers that you have currently booted up in your Cloudways account. So let's go ahead. Uh, right now I have the Cloudways dashboard in front of me and I don't have any servers set up, but I have set up servers before. So I have this recover server button. So I'm going to click on that and you see that we have the applications and the, the right here, the deleted applications that we have and the deleted servers. So this is super cool because for 15 days after you delete a server or an application, you can then go here to recover it and boot it back up and you're back in business. So let's say that we have this wave server right here that we created and I think I want to boot this back up. So I'm going to click here on recover server. It is then going to ask me what provider I want to use and I'm going to stick with the digital ocean and I'm going to stick with digital ocean. So after we wait a few minutes, we can now see that the server that we previously deleted is now been recovered. So we can also go over to our applications and we can see that the previous application that we had on that server is there. So we can go ahead and click on the application URL and you can see that the application is live here in front of us. And I think we're missing an image because I think we need to specify where the URL is supposed to be. Yeah, I think we need to run the PHP Artisan storage uh, link on this server. How about we go ahead and do that real quick? Just because I'd like to show you how easy it is to SSH into the server. So we have our SSH credentials. So I can go ahead and open up my terminal and I can say SSH, the username at the IP address. And then I copy the password and up here inside of my server. So I can go into applications and then this is the app right here and the public HTML folder. Okay, so this is our application right here in front of us. So now I can run PHP Artisan storage link and let's see, we should be able to reload and we're still not seeing that there. So let me go ahead and just sign into the admin first. So again, we have admin admin.com and then password as password. And then here we are, we can go to our admin interface and it doesn't show the warning, but we're still missing the images. So how about those dot directory? I'm going to go into the public folder and I think I'm just going to remove the storage sim link. So now if I were to go back to the admin reload, actually log in again, I should now see a warning that the storage link does not exist. I can click on fix it and that should fix that and it should fix our images, but hmm, to see why that's not working. So inside of our storage users default.png. Oh, let me see. Okay. I wonder actually if we go back to our application and we open up the .env file and maybe we need to change the app URL. Yeah, that could be it. Let's see. Yeah, let me change this app URL to be, okay, yeah, I think that's going to be it. And let's paste that in there and let's write that and quit. Okay, now we reload and boom, we have our images. Okay, so let's go back to the home page, and we'll see that we have the images loading just fine on our application. So here we have our software as a service starter kit in front of us. We recently you know, created this server. You can check back on some of the previous videos. I'll actually include the link below the video on how we booted up the Wave Software as a Service Starter Kit using the Cloudways hosting. It's pretty easy to do and we went ahead and deleted the server and then we were able to recover the server and just like that we have the server up and running and ready for us to continue creating.
But one more cool thing that I want to do is I want to show you how you can easily create a staging server. So let's say that this is our live application and we want to have an environment where we can actually test this out. We probably want to create a staging environment. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to create a new user so you can see that the staging server is going to recreate the database as well. So let's go back into the admin and let's take a look at our users. So we don't have any users there. Let's go ahead and log out and let's create a new user. Okay, so let's say John Smith, John Smith, John at johnsmith.com. Okay, so let's register for this new user and we're going to sign out and then we're going to sign in again with our admin and we're going to see that new user inside of our admin dashboard. So we go to the admin and let's take a look at the users. So you can now see that we have john at johnsmith.com. Okay, so we have our, our production application right here in front of us. So now if we wanted to create a staging application, what we could do is we could easily go into the application section. Let me click over this. Yeah, so we have clone app or create staging. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to select my server and say create as staging. And I'm going to click on continue. And now it is currently creating a duplicate version of our application that we can use for staging. Okay, after a few moments, we can then go back to our applications and we'll see that we now have two different applications. We have our wave application and we have our staging wave. So let's go ahead and go in here and let's open up this URL. And you can see that we're presented with a username and password. And this is cool because now we have this username and password that we could share with anyone on our team or we can then go to and it's password protected so nobody outside of our company can access our staging server besides us. So we can copy this username and we can paste it in there and the password and you can optionally disable this if you would like if you want just anybody to be able to access the staging server. So we can sign in and you can see here we are at our application. So let's go ahead and actually go to admin. It's going to ask us for that again. I don't know why it's asking us for that again. Okay. Let's disable that. Okay, and then let's go back to the admin. And we're going to sign in with admin at admin.com and password. And this is actually going to, I think, give us an error because we also need to change the URL for this application. So if we open this up, this is actually going to be a different URL than our production. So let's SSH into the server and let's change the .env for our staging app. So I think we were already, yeah, we were already in there. Let's go ahead and log in again. Let's go back to the server, copy that password, paste that in there. Okay, let's go into the applications. And this first one was the wave application and the second one is our staging. So we're gonna CD into the staging and I'm going to CD into public HTML and then open up the environment variable. And this is where I want to remove our staging URL and I want to, or I want to remove the uh, production URL and enter in our staging URL. And let me make sure I put in the right one. So we'll open this up, copy this URL, paste it right in there, right and quit. Okay go into the admin and password and now let's go into the admin section and you can see the users we have two of the users right here so let's say that we were to add a new user this is going to be added for our staging application so we have two completely separate applications 
And from our production, we could easily duplicate that current version into a new staging server. So it will duplicate the database and everything else. So say if you wanted to start off fresh from your staging server, you can easily replicate your production, database, and all the code. All you have to do is change the URL and you are ready for testing uh, with all the latest data that you have from your production app. So this is super cool. This is something that is not provided by a lot of hosting providers, is the ability to easily recover a deleted server and the ability to spin up as many staging applications as you would like. So be sure to visit cloudways.com and make sure to sign up to get your free $50 credit by entering in promo code DEVDOJO. And I'm gonna be creating a lot more videos showing you some of the cool stuff that you can do with Cloudways. And we're going to be creating some cool stuff that you can do with Wave and Cloudways. So that way you can create your own software as a service, uh, your own Laravel applications using this awesome hosting service. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in my next video.